Hey everybody, Charles for HumbleMechanic.com. Peter had a great question about the software update for the Gen 3 TDIs, and he wants to know how the hell can a software update fix a problem with hardware? Basically what's happening on some, a very, very, like extremely limited number of the Gen 3 TDIs, and this is gonna be on like model year 15 and 16 cars. He's got a 15 Passat with a manual transmission. Um, the, the load for the high pressure fuel pump is breaking. Now, I think we've had maybe five or six at my dealership. All but one have come from rental car companies, so it's a very limited number. This is not anything to panic about or, you know, start burning, you know, at the stake Volkswagen over this. This is a very, very, very limited thing. But the repair, the recall that came out was only a software update, which in my mind, if a hard part is failing, the hard part needs to be replaced. So Peter had a great question. How the hell is that possible? Well, Peter, one of the things about the way Volkswagen does business, and I assume that most other manufacturers do this as well, when an update like this comes out, the truth is, is we don't really know. We don't always know exactly what's changed in the software. And I've talked about it on other shows before, you know, a, a, a software update can come out today. So all this is done online, right? We plug it into your car, we dial up wherever and download the new software into the scan tool, then into your ECM. At any point in time, this could change. The software can change. They can do updates to it, tweaks to it, because maybe something's going on that they didn't anticipate. Um, so I don't know is the truth, and we rarely get any information about what's actually changed. I think one of the most recent we've actually got some information was a TDI update for the Passat, where it would limit turbocharger output on cold start. And it actually said that. It said that in the recall that that's what it was doing. And that's like a world of information compared to what we normally get. On this update, man, we didn't get any information at all about what's changed in the strategy of the ECM. My guess is maybe it limits RPM uh, on cold start, maybe. Maybe it reduces fuel pressure on cold start. I really don't know, uh, and I haven't done any testing to definitively prove this is what's different, this is what's changed on, uh, on this software after the, the update's done. That's just like a complete 100% guess. I have no information that, uh, that leads me to that guess other than that's just kind of my gut feeling. That's one of the few things that maybe could happen and be viable uh, in order to protect that camshaft. But it's a really great question. It's just not one that, unfortunately, I have the answer to. So I'm gonna throw it out to you guys in the audience. If you know exactly why Volkswagen did a software update for this repair, please put it in the comments. But please be careful on spreading things that aren't true. If you guys don't know or have a hypothesis or a guess, please put that it's a guess just so we know 100% that you're guessing, just like I'm guessing, on what's happening. If you have actual facts, feel free to post that. So maybe we all learn something about this situation and how you fix a hardware issue with software. All right, guys, Peter, great question. Guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to send your questions to charles at humblemechanic.com. Put question for Charles in the subject. And don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel and for other quick videos like this, even though this one's been quite a bit longer than the rest of them, check out the quick answer videos playlist on YouTube.